we're back. Hey guys, guys, girls, go. Girl. Hey everyone. Hey, let's go again. We're back. Headed to Pintara quickly to see if these things fit. My rack ends, my tie rod ends, and whatnot. Well, I'll show you some of the wiring loom of what we've done, um, and put that on the on the engine. Might run a car with a wiring loom we just built to show what we do. Yeah, I'll show you this loom, and then we'll go to the shed and we'll work it all out. But there's a loom. There's a finish loom. <laughs> there's lots of wires. His factory. What is this out of? That's a like full body loom. Yeah. Normally, oh no, it's the fuse box and everything. Yeah, right. And this is what you want, is it not? That's yeah, body side of the. That's body plug, and that's B plug to the PCM, is it? B. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then body C plug. And a loss. And all your oh, turbo the... stuff. No, yeah, you do have a max set and... valve. Yeah. That's the penny. That's the bare minimum of what you need. So that's bare minimum for yeah. sensors. Over the. Um, there's one to take there. Pedal. Yep. The pedal's All got a few. Ones. And then mm -hmm. these ones you extend to make it into your yeah. other side of the fuel wherever. pump. Fans. Daddy. All switches. Daddy. Yeah. Starter. Daddy. And he's needed. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is everything that's out of that loop. That's yeah. not needed. Mm. So yeah, I can't say that I filmed the whole thing getting pulled apart, but also I can't give away everything. We can build your looms if you're interested for conversions for whatever, standalone, plug and play, tuning, etc. All available. But uh, yeah, that's what you pull out, this is what we're left with. And the finished product, <laughs> the finished product, this is with a fuse box. This one's not This one's finished. Well, then it goes to stage two. <laughs> this is before we test it on an engine, before we check that everything works, and before Dan puts um, all your conduits on it and whatnot, just to make sure everything's working hunky dory. So, this is all that's been changed, and then that's your engine loom with ZF components. And then this is the finished product the fuse box, all the loom and everything, your power, your negative. And yeah, off we go. Um, start. Yep. Ignition, battery positive, ground finished. Oh, oh and that's wow. all you need to connect. Yep. And then make sure all you switch things and whatnot, like these that have the outputs off the relay ready for really a fuel pump cool. and fans and crap, they just need to plug it in. And this is what the loom looks like while Dan yeah. is working on it. So that's Dan. Hey Dan, wave everyone to Dan. <laughs> he's the one building the loom. That's what it looks like while he's going at it. So you just cut and shut and follow wiring diagrams like this. Yeah, it's so fun. They do look fun. Mm. <laughs> Even as simple as it changes colour, or oh, where's is that a change That's in a plug? plug? So yeah. you go a certain colour to a plug and it changes colour. There's three plugs there between the computer. Yeah, it's like Ford didn't make it simple, let's put it that way. But it works. We've got it sussed. He's got it sussed. Yeah. I tune him. To make them work, he wires them to make them work, and we get the drift penny. Penny the penny. No adapting. We should get a cable tie on that. <laughs> it's a bit loose. Maybe a hose clamp on that one. Oh, now you want a hose clamp. <laughs> the return. Get a battery. VP Racing Fuel? No, we're not from America. What we got here? Power Plus Racing Fuel. It is an E85, I lie. Okay. It's, it's great. Is it hitting? Not really. Not yet ish. Um, we care that it hits. It's clear. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, while we're here tonight, we're just checking an engine loop. We'll see if the big pallet bar barrel still runs. Is the plan. Do we have a video of this happening before in the shed? They normally seem to like it. Oh wow. RPM limit or not, because I don't know what's revving to. Yeah. To be honest. It's revving pretty quick. It was revving nice. <laughs> it's a nice revving engine. 
<laughs> and there's no load on it, eh? What was this one? The one that was in the back of that wagon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a crack in it. <laughs> we still get up the crack. We've got the head yeah, of it. Yeah, I did that. Oh, there's a dent here. There's still a dent here, but it doesn't yeah, leak that up. Yeah, it doesn't leak. That was me trying <laughs> to set is, my turbo off. This is an FG K-frame. <laughs> Yeah, we cut, we cut it to fit the BA <laughs> on the pallet. Yeah, we know what's up. That's terrible. <laughs> She's all up. Fans aren't running too. Which is good. With no air con pressure or nothing on it. Happy days. It's a really good run up with no weight on the end of it. That thing just sit there. It's quite a pump. Yeah. <laughs> it is a quiet engine. Are they gonna fit, Lawson? First, we should see if it threads in. First, port of call. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. That's in. Would you agree? It's going. <laughs> We're looking good. We got N14. I could give you the part number if you comment and ask for it. We don't share our secrets. S13 end, but apparently they're all the same in Nissan. And um, what's the what's this uh, R31 rack with T, TRW, TRW, which means it's Australian Skyline rack, not Japanese maybe. That to S13 knuckles, and I'm pretty happy it went on, so we're laughing. Got the vacuum port hooked up. So got a T-piece going on there. That'll hook up to the brake booster and fuel reg and um, all those general things. So we're looking good. Cheers for watching.